see him. He's not feeling well this morning. Where is he? I'm going to come to him. I'm going to know him. Isaiah. You're not feeling well, baby? Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, touch this baby's throat. Rebuke this fever. Leave him right now. In the mighty name of Jesus, heal his tonsils. Where he has surgery, let healing flow through right now. You know what to do, God. We touch and agree right now. Command that fever to leave. Leave right now and never come back. In Jesus' mighty name. Can we say amen? It's done. Somebody give the Lord a hand. Can we say praise the Lord? Praise the Lord. Reach over and shake somebody's hand. Tell them good to see you. Good to see you. Good to see you. Reach over and shake their hand. They're not going to bite you. <laughs> <laughs> I want y'all to know it's good to be home. I said it's good to be home. Good to be home. I appreciate you all. Thank God for you. Thank God for everything that you've done, that you're doing. And, uh, man, half days is, is coming week, isn't it? It came fast this year. But we thank God for you. Uh, we got a lot going on. Let me say this. The anniversary starts what, about a couple weeks out, something like that, about three weeks out. Now, if you haven't paid your obligation, look up here so I can look at your eyes, so I can see where you're standing. Now, your obligations, Sister McAtee, she'll tell you, Sister Diane Young can tell you. You want to give to the First Lady? You go see Sister Diane Young, right there. Stand up a minute for me, Diane, please. You want to see, give something towards the, my member, the pastor, Sister uh, Miss Beanie McAtee, right over there. Y'all see her? Miss Margaret McAtee with a little white bobbin on her head. Go see her. Go see her. She'll tell you what you can do. Now, huh? Go see Sister McAtee, you want to give towards the pastors, you want to give towards the first lady, go see uh, actually Diane, Mary, and Granny. They can both, all three of them can tell you. All three of them can tell you. So you can go to either one of them three. You deal with me, you can go to Sister McAtee. She's my personal entrepreneur. She takes care of me. For 15 years, she's been serving the Lord through me, and I appreciate her for that. And she's down to the team too. She can tell you where every penny's at. She makes me count the money when I don't even want to count money. Uh, you need to count this money. So well, that's what I got you here for. Yeah, but I'm human. And she can't make a mistake. You never made a mistake counting money? Well, no, I mean, we know that. But see them. You want to give. Now you know where to go to. You don't have to keep your money in your pocket. Give it to them. All right, appreciate you all. God's been good to me. He allowed me to go through three different countries. Kenya, Uganda, and Germany. He's been tagging all three of these countries. My, my plan was to go back into Jamaica, but I didn't get to make that trip to Jamaica. So hopefully I get to go next year to Jamaica. But anyway, as far as I know, my travel's over this year. And I thank God that it's over. I've obeyed God and done what he told me to do. Now I'm home. Home to. I don't think nobody missed me like Dorothy. When I was at the airport coming off and coming from Germany, coming now coming from uh, Germany to Chicago, then I caught the plane from Chicago to Louisville. Who would I see down there? Dorothy. She ain't seen me in about 15, 16 days. So. And she, 
She rushed me into the car. <laughs> rushed me into the house. <laughs> threw, nearly threw pieces out of the house. <laughs> She's the type, she'll cut off all the phones. <laughs> uh, but I appreciate Appreciate the McAtee sister, Kadisha, brother McAtee. They take me there and they bring me back. And I appreciate that. I'm going to tell you something. You need to go somewhere, McAtee can take you. Just like Brother James back then. I done had James Furman all over America. I had him in Indiana. I took that brother to Indiana with me one day. Real bill. Real bill. I told James, we might need to keep the truck running. <laughs> We've been all over the world, man. I said, James, how are we going to get out of here? No man ain't, ain't but one house out there. <laughs> but he took me, though. See, like every time we get on the road, Esther will call us. <laughs> We can't take you to work in Mirrorville. <laughs> but I praise the Lord that I'm back. I'm not going to, listen, we're not going to leave the service tonight. Go home, because I'm tired. I'm still tired. I'm still tired. I didn't get back here at about 12 o'clock Thursday morning. Then I was right back in here Friday preaching. Then we had the service yesterday. Let me tell y'all something. Monday, Wednesday, and, no, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, in Mombasa, Kenya, is 1.5 million people there. We had three services a day. We had three services a day. So Monday, three services. Tuesday, three services. Wednesday, three services. Then Thursday, we have one service. Friday, one service. Saturday, one service. Then Sunday, two services. So I was almost in 15 services within a week's time. And you think I ain't tired? Yeah, I'm tired for real. I'm tired. Body's tired. And then I'm trying to get adjusted to this time. In, 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 in Kenya right now, it is 7.30 in the, in the night. They're seven hours ahead of us. So... So, when y'all are in bed, I'm getting up. Now, I was sitting up there night, and said, what you doing? She can't sleep? No, we gotta get this time together. And it takes time to get that time together, man. You really do, man. I'm sitting up at four o'clock in the morning, wide awake. <laughs> but God is helping me. In the book of Psalms, 34. So go home and relax yourself. I'm going to go home and get out of these clothes and put them things called pajamas on. <laughs> and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to rest and sit. <laughs> Granted, you make sure you ain't the first one to call me. <laughs> but I appreciate every one of y'all. Really do. Thank God for you. In the book of Psalms 34, if you're able to stand, please. Please stand. Thank God for everyone that's out today. Brother Eric's back with us. We appreciate you, man. We appreciate you. James Thomas Jr. Bale back there is, is back there today. We thank God for him. Appreciate him. Appreciate everybody. I don't like to call names. The fans are too cold. Are y'all cold? Marcia's cold. Oh, you ain't got no business being cold. You the wrong devil now. Uh, we can cut off for you. I got cut off for those that that's freezing. <laughs> I got you, sis. I got you. I ain't saying nothing. All right, I got Psalms 34. All right, verse number four. I sought the Lord. I sought the Lord, and he heard me 
and deliver me from all my fears. They looked unto him and were lightning, and their faces were not ashamed. This poor man cried, and the Lord heard him and saved him out of all his troubles. You may be seated. This poor man cried. And the Lord heard him. And saved him. Out of all his troubles. Tell somebody this morning that the Lord said. The Lord said I heard you. I heard you. I heard you. Tell somebody else that the Lord said, the Lord said I'm coming. In the book of Psalms, our great brother by the name of David is going through some adversities of life. Anybody ever had some trying times since you've been with God? Anybody ever had some temptation times, lonely times since you've been with God? It doesn't mean that God's not with you. You're just going through some things. And you're facing some things. David is going through an ordeal. He's been known as king of Israel. But there's another king who is king at this point. By the name of Saul, the son of Kish. Of the tribe of Benjamin. David has been anointed because Saul has been disobedient to God. So God tells Samuel, go down to the Bethlehemite by the name of Jesse. I will provide me a son, a king among his eight sons. So Samuel goes down to Jesse, down to Bethlehem. And he makes some of his sons to pass before the great prophet Samuel. Shemaiah comes before him. The Lord says, this is not the one. Elbel passed before the man of God. He says, this is not the one. Six sons passed before him. Then another one passed before him, which is seven. But there's a young one that's in the field. Samuel said, is this all your children? He said, there is one more. He's just a boy. He keepeth the flock, the sheep. Samuel said, fetch him, for I will not sit down until he comes in. Now, have you ever wondered why David is in the field and the other sons are in the house. Well, let me explain to you what's going on with this ordeal. The other seven sons of Jesse's are biological children through his marriage. Through marriage. David is said to be an illegitimate child. He was not married when he had King David. Because from now, King David is considered a bastard, an illegitimate child. And he's not allowed to sit with his brothers because he's an illegitimate child. In other words, little black sheep of the family. Daddy got him um, being unfaithful. But how many know that if God says you're blessed, you're blessed. So he found you said, bring him in. The Bible said he comes in and he's rooted, but of a beautiful countenance. He's a, he's a pretty boy. He's a good looking boy, handsome boy. 
red-headed boy, but good-looking boy. God says to Samuel, anoint him. This is my man. This is my choice. This is my selection. He anoints him. Now, as he anoints him, the Bible comes up with Goliath. Goliath presents himself 40 days and 40 nights. Give me a man who will fight with me. When Saul was standing seven foot tall, he was afraid to fight the giant because Saul is out of the will of God. I wouldn't go fight no devil if I'm out of the will of God. So why would he go fight the devil and he know he ain't in the will of God? So David comes up and hears the boast of Goliath. And David says, who is this uncircumcised Philistine that he served to fight or challenge the armies of God? What will be given to the man if he go down and fight this giant? And David said, let no man heart fear. I'll go down and fight this giant. Saul said, you can't fight with this man. He's a man of war from his youth. You ain't nothing but a little boy. David said, the bird came out and God delivered him. The lion came out and God delivered him. The same God that delivered me out of the hands of the bear and out of the hands of the lion is the same God that will deliver this uncircumcised Philistine into my hand. Uh, you know the story. Uh, the Bible said that David picked up some stones, uh, put it in his bag, uh, and he went out to meet the giant. Uh, and he said to the giant, uh, you come to me with a spear uh, and with a sword, uh, but I come to you uh, in the name of the Lord Jesus, uh, who you defied. Uh, he put that stone in uh, in that slingshot, uh, swung that slingshot, uh, hit that giant uh, in his forehead. Uh, that stone crushed uh, his forehead, uh, crushed his skull. Uh, and the Bible said he fell down flat uh, before the Lord. Uh, and David took his sword out uh, and killed the giant. Uh, took his head off uh, while they was coming back into Jerusalem. Uh, the women came and says Saul has slain his thousands but David has slain his ten thousands Saul gets envy Saul gets jealous he started to eye on David he started to keep his eyes on David do we got any jealous people in the house do we got any jealous people in the house you don't want to fight the devil but you don't want me to fight him either is there any jealous people in the house here. So he goes down. He says to David, he said, I want you to bring David close to me. Why? Because I want to kill David. I want to murder David. So what he does, he gives his daughter, whose name is Michael, he gives his daughter to David. Not because he wanted David to be his son-in-law. He wanted to keep David near him so he can monitor him, so he can watch him and keep him under surveillance. So David goes out and fight the wars. One day, while Jonathan and David them was at the table, uh, he noticed uh, Saul said, uh, where, is, uh, where is David? Uh, he's not at the table. Uh, Jonathan said uh, he's asked permission uh, to go down to Bethlehem uh, to be with his people. Uh, so Saul, uh, Saul gets mad uh, and picks up a javelin. Uh, oh, picks up a javelin. Uh, took that javelin, uh, threw it at his own son, uh, trying to murder his own son. Uh, because God got an inside man. Uh, tell somebody God got an inside uh, man who's watching out for you. Uh, you don't have to know who he is, uh, but God got an inside man uh, watching out for you. Uh, so he threw that javelin at him, uh, but he couldn't get to it. Uh, so David now uh, is on the run. Uh, he's in the cave uh, called a tulip. Uh, he's down here in the cave uh, called a tulip. Uh, he's running Saul. He's running from Saul. Come in for a minute, Saul. He's running for 
Saul. Huh? Saul is standing right there. Standing right there, Saul. Huh? While Saul is down there huh? sleeping huh? in the cave. Huh? God, let me huh? get my enemy huh? in front of me. Huh? But how many know, huh? don't God let your enemy get in front of you? Touch not my anointing huh? and do my prophets huh? no harm. Huh? Huh? So David sneaks upon him. Huh? He can't hear him coming. Huh? See, when you have the will of God, you can't hear me coming. You can't see me coming. Because you're out of God's will. He sneaks up on him and cut a part of his garment and sneak back away. Then go back up there, Saul. And he says, Saul, Saul, Saul says, who is that? Is that you, my son David? He said, it's me. He said, look, Saul, I took a part of your garment. I could have killed you. If I'm really your enemy, I could have killed you. But I didn't come to kill you. I come to be your friend. Tell somebody, if God be for you, who can be against you? So David is still in the cave of Abdullah. Everywhere that he goes, Saul trying to kill him. Saul trying to murder him. At nighttime, David said that my tears have become my meat. In other words, while he was eating, mama, he was crying and his tears would fall into his, into his food. But how many know it ain't over till God says it's over? Then we go next to the book of Psalms. David said, I sought the Lord. And he heard me and delivered me from all my fears. I looked unto him and were enlightened, and their faces were not ashamed. Then he said, This poor man cried. Maybe this morning you're going through some things, you're facing some things. Nobody sees you crying, you're laughing on the outside, but you're crying in the inside. Nobody hears your cry. Nobody sees your tears. I stop by to tell somebody. God said, I heard your cry. I seen your tears. I'm coming, baby. I'm coming, my daughter. I'm coming, my son. I heard your cry. I know you're suffering. I know you're going through some things. I know you've been forsaken. I know they turned their back.
believe I'm coming. If you believe I'm coming. And if you believe that I'm already here, get in this prayer line.
my children, bless the grandchildren, all my loved ones. I, I rebuke every sin of the enemy. Let her prosper. Let her grow in you. Jesus. Sister Lula May Jeffries, touch her body. God, help her to keep her balance and not to fall. Rebuke that devil, God. Brother, that's Brother Tebow, his daughters, grandbabies, and children. Save them and Candace and all the girls and babies. Your hand, your bone, dear. Jesus. Raise him up and use him. Fill him with the Holy Ghost. Keep touching. 
touch that shoulder, touch everything that needs to be healed in his body. We thank you for it. Jesus. Father, we thank you for Brother Jim. Fill him with the Holy Ghost. Watch over him. Keep his mind sane. Keep his body healthy. Bless him, God. Jesus.
she's got. Shut down, I'm 
So you, you have to realize that it, 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 not Jesus was preaching and said the mother and father want to see you. He said, who's my mother and father? He said, they didn't do the will of God. And they said, and they was offended at him. Right. People get offended because you're holding yeah. this. Yeah. They get offended. I don't know why they their mama's church. Well, mama ain't got no church. Mm -hmm. Ain't but one church. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so what church we talking about? I'm older, There's a lot of buildings, yeah. but ain't but one body. <coughs> Strengthen her in this area. Strengthen her in this area. Touch her body through her legs. Yeah. Knees and stuff. Touch right there in the name of Jesus. It's been done right now. Tell her, I'm sending you. Tell her, I'm sending you. I will see. Tell her that the prophet said, I know where you live. I can't lie. I will knock on that door. All we do is we have that door. I ain't got a problem knocking on the door. But tell her, I want to come on my own. I want to see. It's done in Jesus' name. Yes, we do. <coughs> Father, in the name of Jesus, remember this young lady that's dealing with cancer. Rebuke it in the name of Jesus. Let healing flow through that body. Heal her of cancer. Heal her for your glory, for a testimony that you can do all things and that all things are possible to them that believe. Come a little closer. <laughs> so your legs won't hold you. <laughs> See the Lord do something. That's what you can do. Accept every sin and tell. Satan wants to catch you in vulnerabilities. Vulnerabilities. Let me tell y'all something. Listen to me. Listen to me. The flesh is not strong. Don't you fool yourself. How many remember Superman? Y'all yeah. remember Superman? Yeah. What made him weak? Kryptonite. Oh, Kryptonite. Oh, <laughs> uh, everything in the world, old crib. Old crib made him weak. Well, you gotta get with, you gotta get with that crib. You don't go with her crib. No crib take all your strength out of you. Uh -huh. Come here, crib. And before you let him go, he just says, "We're gonna do both." You can hug every day. Some of the devil got crooked like in Yeah. Say hi to the crib and keep moving. You did you really I'm saying as you really do. Oh, I ain't seen you in 20 years. And, and at, at 10 at 5 seconds of love took 20 years off of you. Yeah, we're gonna look at you. Can't okay, how they stand up. I ain't never done demons in the church, right? As in, you know how they got them kangaroos and Australia, them demons is hopping. They, they got the hopping legs. Be careful. And seek God for advice. I, 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 I feel strength going into you now. I feel strength going into you now. Virtue is going out of me. And God is fortifying you now. Then stay away from kryptonite. Stay away. Speak in a distance and keep on moving. Let me, let me look up for y'all. I want everybody else to be. I don't owe no sinner no hug. No, sir. Let me make it plain to you. Uh-uh, this is my body. He gave it to me. If I choose to hug, he ain't made it. I'll see you today. I'll hug you today. And then see another. I remember you keep giving out all these hugs. <laughs> and you don't know how to let go. No, ain't no seven your strength out of me. Yeah. Especially if you can't like to rub on your back and stuff. Ain't nothing wrong with my back. God healed me. Be careful. 
as Christ is suffered in the flesh, arm yourself. Do what you need to do to keep things. You know what? God's going to do his part. And listen, you do not owe nobody nothing. You know, I don't want to do thank you. I don't care what you think. I was an old lady. Bless her heart. I don't know what she thought she was going to do. But anyway, my, my collar was turned up. You know how sometimes you get your collar turned up? So, come here, honey. If, if your collar was messed up on me. So I'm standing there, and she didn't get up on me. It had some type of juice in the mouth. Oh. <laughs> Look like some snuff. <laughs> and I mixed it with some snuff or some something on my lip. My lip was. And I'm just standing there. Come here, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just standing there. <laughs> so, at past, so I was with my, my wife was with me on this one. Little old lady, blonde hair, sitting in Dr. Cox's office. I went with my wife because she had to get a neck crack. <laughs> so, no sooner I sat down, she came alive. Had a small dress on, you know how to wear Cocked her legs. Threw her back. And you know, and I wish you I'm saying, now which way do I look? Front, left, back? Which way? I tell God, I said, what does she think she's going to do with me? Huh? Old enough to I had enough wrinkles to put in somebody's clothes. <laughs> now you get past the wrinkles, what you going to do? This is crazy. Sometimes I don't even like getting out of the car and going to the store. Because somebody always going to grab me. Come here for me, I'm going to talk to you. That's peaches. I went to Walmart. I just went up to the counter to pay for the stuff. Oh my goodness. We were just looking. Oh my goodness. Oh my God. Messed up the cash register, messed up the chain. I told God this. Did you see what I was doing, Paul? Next time I go somewhere, I got to fight these devils. Lord, have mercy. Do what I'm telling you. God said, watch and pray. Watch and pray, Jesus. In the name of Jesus, God says, abide in the ship. Stay with God. And abide in the ship. In the name of Jesus. Strengthen him. Encourage him. And be with her, God. In the mighty name of Yeshua, Messiah, Jesus Christ. Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus, and this is what's coming to me to tell you, God's going to work some things out for your favor. Walk through the door when he does it. Don't delay and don't hesitate. Walk through the door. And he says, seek him for advice. You can't, keep, you can't go to everybody. Amen. should not go to everybody. Go to those who you know that God is speaking to. We thank you, God. Yeah. Jesus, and fortify us. Who's next? Well, for me. Yeah, bend it up the text. <laughs> Father, we thank you in the name of Jesus. Oh, thank you, Lord. Which one of them shoulders has been bothered? Is it this one? Yeah. You want God's strength in that shoulder so you can carry? 
Y'all yeah, remember how, how uh, well, I mean, how Betty spent morning on, on Flintstone? And get one of them little ones. One of them down to the ground. Touch your shoulder, God. In the name of Jesus. I'm going to ask you something. You just come to me. I'm picking this up from the Spirit. I see more of the pill bottles. Sometimes that's some of the problems. Yeah. That's not the problem. The body was not designed for 20 pills a day. Don't you believe that? The body was not designed to do that. That's man's way. Notice it only keeps the problem in bed. It never takes it away. Let's get rid of the problem. Did you want to need the people? Get rid of the problem. The pills are gone. Father, yes, increase our faith. Yes. Increase our faith. Increase our faith. It ain't nothing to be ashamed of. Right. The woman with the issue of blood could never get healed if she was ashamed. Do you understand that? <laughs> the woman with the issue of blood could never get healed uh, worry about what the people thought. Yeah, yeah. The woman that was bent over 18 years could not get healed worry about what the people thought. The man landed at the pool with Bethesda for 38 years could not get healed by worrying about what you thought. Yeah. I don't care what you think. I'm worried about what God is thinking. In Jesus' name. Keep your eyes on me. Mark the perfect man. Who's going to see? Your shoulder too? Uh, you want to become real Ernestine? Father, we pray for Ernestine. Rebuke that cancer in her body. Command that cancer to leave her body in the name of Yeshua Messiah. Touch this little shoulder. Touch the shoulder. All the pain and suffering. Take it away. Lorel comes before me. God, remember Brother Lorel. Remember the babies. Remember uh, the daughter. Remember all the babies. God, save them. The twins. Save the oldest one. Save these boys. Bring them back to your house. Save them. As Christ has suffered in the flesh, arm will suffer like life. Things are going to happen, but God is with you. Your job comes before me. McDonald's comes before me. Bless on that job to be a light, to be an example that she may help these people. Remember Peanut on the job. Remember him, God, in the name of Jesus. Who's next? Sick. 
He just believed. Yeah. Tell Junebug if he would just believe. That's all. Just believe. That's all. God, God don't want his body in that condition. But he needs Junebug to believe. Because without faith, it's impossible to believe it. He got to believe this. Now, where you come in is this right here. Where Tabitha's father came in at. I believe, help my unbelief. Yes. Tell God to help his unbelief. Help his unbelief. Because faith comes by what? Yes. Hearing. He's got to hear that word. And hearing by the word of God. Touch his body right yes. now. Touch his body right now. I pray, God, that you will heal within and heal without. Use this to draw him to you. Use this to open up his eyes. Do this for him in the mighty name of Jesus. Now I pray for this sister here that you will be the man of God, but you will be the woman of God. You call her the person you want her to be. Keep her mind sound. Keep her body healthy. God says, you need to watch and pray. Open your eyes up spiritually. Not physically, spiritually. Open your eyes up. Open your eyes up. And I wouldn't offer you nothing that won't cost me something. To get where you want to be, what God's going to cost you. What are you willing to give up? You willing to give up Phyllis? Phyllis' is ways. Phyllis' is demeanor. When I say you, don't talk about all of us. We, you, you, John made it plain, I must decrease. Did he might even mean, give up your weights? Jesus said, if a man come up to me, out to me let him first deny himself. I mean, your will, your ways, your views, your opinion. Yeah, I don't care what you think. Man, I done got to the point now, man, all that matters is God's will. At the, I, I like what Neil say. At the end of the day, you better be in his will. Go on, do what you want to do all day, but when you lay your head on that pillow, you better be in his will. Yeah. Better be in his will. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. I see finances. I see finances too. Now I just seen that place you worked at. I just picked it up in the spirit. It's a weird place. It's a weird place, ain't it? I'm seeing it. It's a little bit of building. Yeah. What, what I'm trying to tell you, that's not your final destination. Right. Now you might want it to be. <laughs> You trying to win something? <laughs> I got nothing to your thing. in control of everything. And he knows what he's doing. He wants you to know he forgot about you. 
Yea, I say to thee, they that wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as an eagle. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Your lot again shall greatly increase. Get his mindset prepared. It's the mind that is where the war is waged at. Once the mind has been conquered, you conquer everything else. Give him peace of mind. Direction in his mind, in his heart, in his spirit. Let him know that you ain't even started what you want to do with him. And how you want to use him and raise him up in the name of Jesus. I come up against every spirit attack that the enemy will try to launch against you in the name of Jesus. Now intercept that thing in the name of Jesus. Then God give him grace, give him favor from this day forth. Be of good cheer. Long as God is with you, everything is going to work out all right. Don't worry about finances. Don't worry about finances. God's got that too. In Jesus' name. Come on, give the Lord a shout of victory. Father, I lay hands on him. In the name of Yeshua Messiah, I come up against these. He said that's a sneak attack. These chest pains. I rebuke it in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I speak health to your body. Health to your body. Health to your body. You said that uh, healing is the children's bread, God. I speak healing to your body. No more chest pains. No more pain. No more sharp pains. Be gone. Be, be not afraid. Be not afraid. Be not afraid. In Jesus' name. Come on, give the Lord a shout of praise. All right. Appreciate every one of you guys. Thank you so much for everything that you've done, that you're going to do. All right. Let us stand. Let all the people say, God smile upon you is my prayer.